Hey, how's it going? It's Craig. I'm out in the garage and today we've got a little home improvement project to install. Let's take a look. Okay, so today I'm going to be in the house installing a Nest Thermostat E onto my combi boiler. Uh, I've not seen many videos on how to install these direct to a combi boiler. A lot of them are replacing an existing thermostat. So all we've got in our house is a combi boiler that sits in the corner of my daughter's bedroom. It does our gas central heating, it also does our hot water. So that powers everything and what I want to do is hook this up to it to make sure that I can control my heating from anywhere in the world. I can also connect it to my Google Home system and so my mobile phone and everything else and set up some nice uh, patterns and timers and things on there so um, my house is heated but not going nuts all over the winter because um, it's getting pretty cold at the moment so I'm going to give it a go I'll do a bit of a step-by-step -step guide but please do not use this as your only guidance if you are nervous about installing these you don't know much about electrics then please seek advice of a, a professional this is not a professional advice video this is just an install of how I did it the app is going to tell you multiple times that there's professionals available for this and if you have no knowledge on electrics and things like that before then please seek that advice and go and get a professional to install it for you. Um, that being said, I think it is a fairly straightforward um, and easy install. Uh, from what I can see it's only a number of like one or two wires to the thermostat sensor and then uh, wireless to the rest so it's not a massive install but you could knacker up your boiler system and blow things up so make sure you know what you're doing before you get involved all right let's have a go okay so we're up in my daughter's bedroom now i'm going to narrate over the top of the video just for um give you a bit of guidance on what's happening so this is an i mini combi boiler that we've had installed for about two years now um absolutely running fine it's a brilliant boiler everything heats up really really quickly so I don't want to stop that in any way so what we're going to do is take the two screws out the bottom of the the boiler and then the whole front of it is going to pop off just the housing on the front so i'll take that off and then what we're going to do is lean this front panel down so this front panel has got your timer and all your other uh, electronics built into it so i've unplugged all the electronics uh, so there's no power going to this at all um, so it's it's safe to work on at the moment. So again, please make sure you know what you're doing before you start messing around with these um, So it's unplugged. We're gonna drop this panel down and we're gonna have a look inside Because uh, there's a connector in here, which is currently looped to go back onto the self on the terminal Okay, so this is the terminal we want this is the terminal that we're gonna put our two wires in for our sensor if you can imagine at the moment that loop that is there is creating a circuit and it's keeping the boiler on all the time. What this thermostat now is gonna do is, it's gonna work as a switch, but obviously depending on the temperature of the room. So it's gonna come on and off um, and complete that circuit when it needs to. Uh, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use a length of wire. I'm gonna poke it through the bottom of this uh, rubber bung that's on the bottom of the, of the boiler. Feed through the cable. I'm gonna replace where that one red wire was with the two wires for this sensor. Okay, that was a little bit fiddly to install, but once the cables are in, uh, they're wired in, it's pretty straightforward. It's just getting your hands into that small space to get the, the screws in. So they're screwed in and they're nice and tight now. Okay, so now it's to work on the other end of this. So this the heat link system that we need to wire this into. So you can mount this on the wall. I'm gonna just run it on a long cable and put it on top of the system for now. Um, I'm not gonna mount it on the wall until I know exactly that it's working and I want it where I want it. Okay, so on the back of this system now, we're going to pop off the plate, a little screw in the bottom to take this off, and wire in those two wires. It doesn't matter which way around. It's, again, it's just to complete that circuit when it needs to. And this model doesn't need a 240 volt or a, a volt off the wall. It's just uh, power, powered by batteries, so it's pretty straightforward and a lot lower risk than anything else. 
Okay, so now we've wired that in, put it all back together. I'm gonna pop that back up on top of the boiler and I'm gonna get started on the thermostat Nest E system. Okay, so you install the app onto your phone and then you start by going through step by step on this instructions just to get everything connected. Connect it over Wi Fi, make sure everything's up and running, and then that's it. We're, we're in. We're, we've done our job. We're on, up and running with our Nest system. That's all the settings you have to do on your app. Um, obviously, what you want to do now is get used to it, get used to the settings, get used to your, connecting it to your Google Home, which it'll find automatically. And then you want to set some routines for your, your house and make sure your house is nice and warm for when you get up in the mornings and when you're coming home from work and all those other things. So, yeah, I'll leave you to play around with that. I'm going to get stuck into mine and get, get something set up. Okay, so I'm back in the garage. That was fairly straightforward. Um, simple two-wire install, but again, it was a little bit fiddly just to get those cables in, just getting in through that bung and down to that little bottom bit. Um, but nothing technical at all so I can understand why they're saying to get an electrician involved um, but it's very low risk the nest heat link system itself is now powered by battery so it doesn't need a, uh, a feed off the wall so there's very little risk on that you're literally just taking that one loop wire out and putting in two new wires which go to the net heat link system and that heat link is just literally working as an on off switch when the temperature is wrong it's gonna turn it on and let the heating heat up when the heat heating gets to the right temperature turns the system off so fairly straightforward okay so that's pretty much it nest thermostat e installed uh not a very difficult install so can't rate this as a, a super technical video but um it's a bit of a home improvement project and a little bit of techie geek stuff that i want to install uh one of my whole home smart automated at some point but uh, all the lights are done already and things like that so yeah i just enjoy having that comfort and luxury of being able to control my house or whatever I want to, be able to turn all the lights off, turn them all on and a bit of security around uh, your, your lighting and your heating and things as well. So yeah, not a bad little install. Okay, so any questions about the install? I'm not a professional electrician, so I can only answer what I'm based on my own knowledge, but please ask them down in the comments down below. Um, give us a video a like if it's helped you in any way. And please obviously subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Uh, my videos normally range from retro gaming and repairs to consoles and things like that, right the way through to tech and gadgets and things which I kind of cast this into. Um, occasionally a bit of fun out on the motorbikes as well. So hope you enjoy, catch you soon.